Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. Today, we are picking up in our version Bible plan. We are on day three of trust, hustle, and rest. And so if you missed the last two days, make sure to go back and listen, catch up. Super encouraging. Um, but let's just dive in and be encouraged. Today is all about hustle, and I'm curious to see what it says and be encouraged by it. Let's jump in. Over the past couple of days, we've been exploring the tension we Christians must embrace in our work between trusting in God and hustling to make things happen in our chosen work. As we saw yesterday, Solomon lays out a sequence to guide our thinking on this topic, beginning with committing our work to the Lord. In verse 9 of the same chapter, Solomon urges us to hustle, saying, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Yes, God has called us to trust Him, but He also graciously has given us minds to plan and execute. Once we have committed our work to the Lord, we are called to hustle, to work with all our heart as working for the Lord, Colossians 3, 23. Too often, I'm afraid that we Christians focus too much on either trusting or hustling. Some Christians use waiting on the Lord as a license for unbiblical laziness. Oof. While others hustle so hard that they are unhealthy physically, spiritually, and emotionally. The beauty of Proverbs 16, 9 is that it clearly blesses embracing the tension between these two truths. Yes, we must recognize that the Lord establishes our steps, but it is also right and good for us to plan our own course, to design, to build, to wireframe, develop, paint, innovate, write, advertise, and sell. Our work is one of the primary ways in which we love our neighbors and serve the world. Remember, work existed prior to the fall in the Garden of Eden. Work is an inherently good thing designed by God to reveal his character and love and serve others. Because of this, ambition for our work, which drives our hustle, can be a good thing. But as we will see in tomorrow's final day of this plan, it is only when our hustle is accompanied by trusting in God that we will find true rest. Y'all, it's just so real, right? This tension. And I think the beauty of this devotional is not saying like you have to just figure it out. It's either hustle or trust or rest. Like you can pick one of the three. It's like, no, like how can we find peace in the middle of this triangle, right? Like if there's hustle, if there's trust, and if there's rest, how do we integrate all of these in a way that honors God and brings him glory inside of working with excellence, but still resting, right? And still trusting in him. And again, I love that it just like called it out, right? Like sometimes we as Christians use waiting on the Lord as a license for laziness. And it's like, okay, well, I definitely don't want to do that. So Lord, would you guide me in this. And I think, again, that's just the beautiful reality of going hand in hand with God as Lord. This tension is difficult, right? Would you show me? Holy Spirit, would you guide me? Holy Spirit, I invite you into my day today. Like, In the morning, would you establish my steps throughout the day? Would you make it clear? Would you be the lamp that lights my path? And I love that illustration because when you think about a lamp lighting your path, it's not like you see way down the road, but you know the next step to take. And I think every single day we can just say, okay, Lord, I am committing my steps to you. I am trusting the results in your hand. I'm going to work with excellence. And I do think that the word hustle is like a hard one for me personally to wrestle with because it just like honestly has kind of a bad connotation in my head because I feel like when I think about hustle, I think about not resting partially because of the book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry, um, which I love. 
But I also love this whole point that it's like, okay, no, there is an element that God has gifted us with brains, right? And with intelligence to work with wisdom that he gives. And so it's like, okay, Lord, give me clarity to know where you want me to go and what you want me to do. And then give me the self-discipline to work with excellence for your glory, to serve and see your purposes through here on earth. Like use me as your vessel to do these things and to bless others and to bring something to my community that might be different or to bring something to my family, right? Like whatever that looks like for you. And it's like, Lord, help me find where I'm supposed to be inside of this tension. How can I trust in you more? How can I work with excellence and then still find rest in you? And we can't do it on our own, right? We have to lean into him. We have to ask him for help. So let's do that right now. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the assignments that you give us. Father, we thank you that you have created us each specifically and uniquely, Father, to bring you glory here on earth. Father, we pray that you would help us work with excellence. Father, that we really and truly just want to do everything um, to glorify your name and to serve your people well, Father. So would you help us do this? Would you help us um, work with excellence without falling victim to this hurried hustle culture, Father, that we can do it in a way that is not taking away from our families or our community or friends, but instead doing it in a way that blesses them, Father? Um, would you just bring your spirit into our work, Father, that you would make the spaces in which we reside holy spaces because your presence is there. Father, we love you and we thank you in advance for all of the things that you have planned, Father, and that you have invited us in to be a part of. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We praise you. We say all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, God. Well, now is the perfect time to break out the worship music, break out your journal, and press into the Lord. We love you guys. Don't forget that you are God's masterpiece, and we'll be talking to you tomorrow. Adios. Adios.